There are a lot of common herbal remedies and supplements for controlling blood pressure. Magnesium, potassium, vitamin D, CoQ10, and garlic are some common ones, but there's many more supplements out there with weak or very little research to back them up. So here's what to watch out for so you can give both your heart and your bank account a break. There are a few supplements with solid research supporting their use, but there's still may not be much research available to confirm them. Magnesium is critical for many bodily functions, including blood pressure regulation. Studies show that magnesium supplements may help reduce blood pressure by increasing the production of a signaling molecule that helps relax your blood vessels. But you may not need to take a pill for it. A diet rich in magnesium may protect against high blood pressure in the first place. Around 100 milligrams of extra dietary magnesium can lower blood pressure by about 5%. Potassium may be the best known supplement for lowering blood pressure, and it works. It works by encouraging your body to remove sodium through your urine, thereby helping your blood vessels relax. And while it's helpful for nearly everyone to eat potassium-rich foods, it's mostly helpful to counteract a high salt or sodium diet. So if you eat a lot of canned or fast food, eating foods rich in potassium will help counteract the effects on your blood pressure. Cool, huh? Here's an interesting one, vitamin D. People with high blood pressure tend to also have lower levels of vitamin D, and those with the highest vitamin D levels have up to a 30% reduced risk of high blood pressure. Get checked regularly for your vitamin D levels. Supplementing with vitamin D may be helpful, not only in treating blood pressure, but preventing it as well. Now here are some supplements that have been suggested with somewhat shaky research that they could help with lowering your blood pressure. One is coenzyme Q10 or CoQ10. It's both made by your body and also found in certain foods. When taken as a supplement, it can help reduce your blood pressure, but there's still some conflicting research. There's some suggestion that it helps with mitochondrial health of your cells, but that'll need to be another video entirely. Several B vitamins also, like vitamin B2 or riboflavin, can help reduce your blood pressure levels in adults with a family history. Folic acid, or vitamin B9, not only can lower your blood pressure, but might also protect against getting it later on in life. If you're planning on taking a B supplement, like B2, B9, or B complex, talk to your doctor. Some other supplement in this list might be better. Also talk to a dietitian about how to safely add foods with B vitamins in your diet, because you can easily do that too. Garlic is linked to a variety of benefits, including reduced risk of blood pressure and heart disease. Adding a garlic supplement to your routine or just eating fresh garlic might help you lower your blood pressure naturally. In fact, in a review of 12 studies, garlic supplements reduced both systolic and diastolic blood pressure by an average of five to eight millimeters of mercury. This reduction seems small, but it can help decrease your risk of stroke, heart attack, and coronary artery disease by up to 40%. It sounds amazing, but like with other supplements, research results were so mixed and more research is still needed. Fish oil now might improve heart health by reducing blood lipid levels, inflammation, and high blood pressure. Studies show that people taking high doses of fish oil supplements, or omega-3s, can help lower blood pressure slightly and also prevent high blood pressure if you don't yet have it. But again, if you're following a healthy diet, like the American Heart Association's DASH diet, the diet naturally incorporates omega-3 rich fats, so you may not really even need a supplement unless your doctor ordered it. Talk to your dietitian or health coach to ensure that you're following the DASH diet fully. Next is beets. Athletes often take beetroot supplements to boost exercise performance because it improves blood flow and oxygen delivery to your muscles. Beetroot supplements have been shown to reduce blood pressure also in both people with and without high blood pressure. 
but you might not need a supplement for this one either. Around a half a cup of beets or four ounces of beetroot juice can also lower your BP in about 30 to 60 minutes. And ironically, if you're shopping in bulk, it might cost the same amount to eat beets as it does to take a beet supplement. Research suggests that a high three gram dose of ginger may help lower high blood pressure too. But there were only around seven studies that tested it, and so far there's still not enough evidence to support supplementing with it. L-arginine, this is an amino acid, which is a part of a protein, that also has been suggested to help lower your blood pressure. One strong research review found that L-arginine supplements significantly reduced total blood pressure and improved blood vessel function and blood flow. But still, <laughs> more research is needed. If you want to get L-arginine from foods, just eat protein. Meats, poultry, soybeans, chickpeas, and even nuts and seeds have it. There are also several supplements that have not been proven by science or research to lower blood pressure. Please take note of these because the research behind them is so weak, it's not worth discussing. Hibiscus flowers, NATO, hawthorn berry extract, gamma amino butyric acid, grapeseed extract, and green tea. Green tea is a special one. Green tea is associated with a variety of impressive health benefits, including healthy blood pressure levels. Although these results are promising, larger long-term studies are necessary. Now, if you've picked anything out of this video, it should be this. There's no need for a supplement most of the time. Just eat real food mostly plants, and take your medications if they're prescribed. Now quitting smoking, cutting back on alcohol, exercising, and losing excess body fat will all help too. Always talk to your dietitian about ways you can improve your diet to lower blood pressure naturally and without supplements, and also talk to your doctor before adding any supplement to your routine. Your doctor can help you determine a safe and effective dose based on your needs. Good luck. I hope you liked this video. Go ahead and scroll through our website or our Unified Care app for more information about chronic conditions, vitals monitoring, and general nutrition and wellness. See you again soon.